Hello everybody, my name is Kedem, welcome back for a new series called Humankind. We're gonna be playing this game, boys. Now, I've been hyped up uh, for literal months to play this game. I've been waiting uh, so much uh, for such a long time. This game has, was supposed to come out, I think, in June or something like that, right? I think it was supposed to come out way back in June. And they decided to push it back forwards. Uh, towards well, uh, now, I guess, which is uh, August. So, we are finally ready to play this game. Hopefully, it's a good game, boys. It was made by uh, the same developers that did Civilization 2, if I remember properly what it, the resume of the game. So, uh, it's gonna have a, we're gonna have a lot of fun. There's a whole lot that we're gonna need to uncover together uh, how to play the game all together. It's very similar from what I've seen to Civilization, so... Uh, I should be confident in my abilities. That's why um, at the beginning of the title, before I started uh, doing my intro, there was a whole uh, tutorial thing. It asked you. It asked me if I never, if I ever played an historical game before or this game at all. And I just put it in the middle where I actually said uh, I did play historical games. Obviously, Civilization, all these good stuff, right? I've played plenty of those games. So, uh, advanced tutorial is gonna be fine. Uh, for the most part, let's uh, take a look at the extras, community, content management. Manage your additional game content. What is that? Add-ons. So I do have the pre-order and the deluxe on it. So they do give me that for that. The updates and stuff like that. Good. Uh, video, audio, all that good stuff. I think we're going to be fine for audio. There is auto saves, which is very good. Diplomacy, all, uh, all this battle view, select to reorder. We'll all figure this out in, uh, in due time. Right now, I'm not sure what this is. Uh, my profile. Edit my profile. So the avatar. So I can actually edit my profile. Uh, AI persona. So I can decide what the AI is going to be like. Uh, audacity. So the favor defensive playstyle. So that's what the AI does though. Right? More of a defensive playstyle. I'll say uh, they're going to stay balanced. Resentment. They never forget what happened in the past. No, I'm going to say balance. I'd say they are trusting. I'm going to make it so that the AI is trusting because I do need, need it to be the case. What about, uh, okay, so like, select strengths up to two that you want to uh, your AI to activate for your AI persona. So what do I want the AI to have right now? 20, uh, minus 20% 20 on unit production costs. I don't really want that. Uh, attachment costs. Influence, combat strength, I don't really want that. Food, attachment cost, I guess, and city merge cost, why not? And there, we need another one. So, warrior, palm broker, philosopher. Is that really for the AI though? I guess so. It's not for me. So, I'm not sure what I should be doing right here. I guess I'm going to give them plus 20 gold uh, when starting, I guess. That's what I'm going to give them. Archetype, uh, you can change it three times I guess but I already changed it once uh, biases so my time they focus on developing on strong navy and coastal forces they tend to space out their outposts uh, mega levels one city to control them all I'm gonna say that one city to control them all they're gonna focus on one city overall not having multiple cities they create strong defenses of the brothers they retaliate until extermination of the aggressor so uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just leave it as it is for now. I think uh, that's good enough. So we're going to save that. So the AI seems to be advanced or something. Avatar. What do I want my avatar to be like, boys? Well, I got plenty of choices. I've got Edgar. I've got... Uh, there we go. There's Edgar. It looks interesting. That's for sure. Got Lucy right here. So we got a couple of... These are all the presets and stuff. There's uh, some of them have names. Other, other ones don't have names. I kind of want to pick someone that would look as much as me in real life, which there's no real option about that. So I guess what I would pick would probably be an older me, I guess, which would be uh, Victor. So Victor seems like a nice dude. So I'll pick Victor. Why not? Uh, I'm going to save that. That's going to be my avatar. Overview, change your avatar, edit your AI persona. Oh, so that's what my AI does when... Okay, so the AI persona is actually what my AI is going to do when he needs to play off uh, online against other people, I guess. 
I got you now. Well, in that case, I am definitely going to give me uh, that warrior thing. So uh, combat strength on emblematic units. And I'm obviously going to make make myself get uh, plus two movement points for units. Obviously, I'm going to do that. Uh, balance. I'm going to be balanced on this one. And I'm going to be resentment. They never forget what happened. Nah, audacity. They will do a defensive playstyle. Yeah, I would say I would do a defensive playstyle for my AI. I think that would be the most, uh, the best thing to do. So I've got all the trophies and stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We've pretty much done that. So that's gonna be my guy. Let's go ahead and go over the play menu right here. We'll play in, uh, the play menu. We can go multiplayer, which is very fun. So you can literally play multiplayer in this game as well. Right now, I just want to do against AI because I don't know how to play this game. All right, so first off, competitors. We gotta choose who our competitors are. Now it is loading, so we gotta wait it out a little bit. Uh, these are the people I'm gonna fight against, I guess. So what is this? Play in offline mode with AI opponents, okay? And this is online mapped with humans and AI opponents. There's both, basically. Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna do offline for now. Uh, competitors, do I want more than six? Not sure if I want more than six. I'm not sure how it goes, how it's gonna go. Do we want a large map? I think I want a huge map, to be honest, boys. I do want to have as as much space as possible. World shape, custom, custom, or four continents. I'm gonna say custom. Okay, so if I do custom, what does happen? Uh, continent shapes, chaotic, regular. I'm gonna do regular, uh, regular one, standard. Uh, climate standard hot I'm gonna say random for the climate land percentage uh, how about random number of continents I kind of want to have like real life uh, four continents I would say four continents uh, new world yes absolutely island or what does that mean uninhabited continent will be available in the game I'm gonna leave it as it is boys uh, for now, we're going to be fine. Island odds. The determ this determines whether or not islands will present in the, will be present in the game. Changes that the island are generated. How many are present? Uh, some islands. Many. I'm going to put it at standard. Standard for the islands. Uh, world a wrap. So the if your world map is continuous. Uh, do I want it to be continuous, boys? Um, yeah, sure. Let's put it on. What about uh, hemisphere? So hemisphere, we want uh, po uh, both po uh, north and south, boys. Yes, I, I think I want both. World generation seed. So random if empty. This uh, determines the type of seed used by the world generator. Yeah, random, I guess. Continent spread. This determines uh, the distance between the continents. Regular. I'm going to do regular. Yes, continent form. Uh, regular as well. I don't want anything chaotic right now. Lake odds. I would say average. Lake size. Average as well. Rivers. Some rivers, I guess. Yeah. Uh, ridge and cliffs. Average as well. In the middle, I kind of want it, boys. In the middle for all of them. Uh, steep. Uh, let's put a standard for elevation. All right. I think that's pretty much good. Uh, pace. Let's see what we got. So first off, we got the pace right here. So normal, fast. So that's how many turns we got. So 75 turns maximum for the game. Uh, this is 600 turns. So it's basically an endless game right there. Uh, and this is a 400 turns. Well, I'm going to do endless. Regardless of what happens, I'm, I'm going to end up finishing the... Like, I'm not going to finish the campaign anyway. So, regardless of what happens, boys. I'm going to do um, endless. Why not? And continuous. Yes, uh, continuous uh, end. So, the conditions. That's basically the condition. Space race. Time limit. Or last man standing. Well, I would say default. So, there has to be an objective, I guess. I would say time limit, to be honest. Yeah, I think time limit is the best option. Difficulty, town, hamlet, metropolis, nation, empire, civilization, humankind. Uh, as hard as, as dealing the entire human race for the stars, um, the stars, the ultimate, if not endless, challenge. 
This is by far the difficult. Look how many difficulties we got. Uh, so I think I'm going to put on Amla to be honest. I'm a little sissy boys and I've never, never played this game before. It's basically peaceful mode. So what is that? Set the level of aggression for of the empires. Controlled by the AI. I'm not going to put on peaceful mode just because I am already playing on Amlet. So I feel like I should have a little bit of a challenge. So we can probably download maps. There's probably mods or something. Uh, Add-ons already in. So that's uh, that's all good. We already have that. And I think we are good. All we need to choose is if we have like the competitors we have against each other. So edit the settings of this competitor. So we can actually... This side is Persona and everything. Uh, that's that's kind of nice. I like that. What symbol do we want to use for ourselves, boys? I kind of want to use this. This looks uh, pretty nice. Select a decoration. Um, I is this better? Yeah, I think this is looks a little bit better. And what color do we want for a nation, boys? I'm gonna keep it at uh, blue for now. We're gonna keep it at blue for the color, boys. And uh, let's start it up. Let's uh, go into it. Let's see what the, all the fuss is about, I guess. Our universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to turn. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together, and things start to get interesting, and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a servant rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? We're about to find out, boys. Here we are into the world as it, uh, it's loading. Seems like we are going to be starting in the north. Because look at that. Uh, it's the world, snowy as hell. Nascent societies are taking a deep breath across the landscape and preparing for greatness all right so your first objective is to survive the neolithic era and earn your first era star so uh we literally have to just simply survive that's all we need to do at first era stars measure your achievements in the game we will cover them in more detail soon understood so i do have tutorial on but uh, slow tutorial, like uh, not heavy tutorial or anything. So we got this. These are the tiles. So this is going to show us the tile. You can zoom in as much as that, I guess. It, as you can see, it's a lot similar to Civilization, the way it's done, the way it looks. Uh, a lot of different mechanics, though. All military forces. So we can look at our military forces that we've got right here. Naval, air, and land. We only have... A hunting party right now uh, show and hide hexagonal so we can hide and show them you can see the tiles right here I think I kind of want to show the tiles to be honest I think it looks prettier with the tiles or it's a bit more understandable for me with the tiles uh, for this right now I'm gonna keep it off I don't really need it that much uh, 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 I do need to find a way to settle now, settling in the north is going to be very hard if I do that. Now, how do I settle, though? How do I do that? I'm not sure. I, I, they haven't told me how to settle yet, so I'm going to have to figure that one out. A hunting party, does, this other army is ready to follow your orders, so what do I do with them? Can I actually settle, or what's going on here? 
Because I can go here and survive probably. This is hot land right there. Um, but I'm not sure if it's any good. I mean, I would be protected by mountains, it seems like, but I'm not sure. All right, we're going to start venturing a little bit. We're going to go here. We're going to start venturing. Map focus off. So, and w if enabled and when possible, uh, opening a notification will focus the camera on location of the associated event. Okay. Because a lot of a um, the or of UE, UI right now in my face. It's a lot happening, boys. Multi selections. I don't know what to do. Tribe. So this is my tribe right here. I can choose between the different ones. Hunting party. What do I do? I got three move sets. I got. I can move them four times. I guess. There's some uh, glaciers right here. I can uncover places. Is there a way for me to know how to actually settle or? Do I just not settle? What's going on? Ransack claim territory cannot be done without a minimum of 10 of influence. So I need influence attack Ransack so I can't actually settle anywhere auto explore. Uh, I'm not gonna go auto explore for now We're gonna let them move All right, so it seems like there's a bit more dry land right here. It seems like it's a bit more secure Oh, we've got something right here discoveries can be made uh, by the first army coming here I'm going to discover this place. So this is it. And healthy children. I see where this is going. Oh, so this could be a good place and knowledge. Okay, so you found a curiosity. Nuts providing plus 10 food on the hunting party. Good. So my hunting party, I imagine they can't do shit anymore. So they got to stay there. I guess they can't move anymore. We did find a suitable place for location. I guess there's some fertile lands possibly here. Uh, unknown strategic resource. I still don't know how exactly it all works, boys. Uh, cities, outposts, how do I settle down, you know? I'm not sure how to do anything right now. I clicked on stuff and it uh, stopped. Okay, so if I click here, Empire screen, what is this? So right now we're just nomads, so I guess we're just moving around. Uh, Hera stars, so grow stars, show culture. So unlock one star, so show the cultures, all of this. I'm not sure what what's what, show the deeds. Uh, competitive deeds. Okay, so this is my guy right now. Fame points. We'll, we'll try to figure this out uh, every time, I guess. This is the era. We can look every time you are in a different era, I guess. All right, let's skip the turn. I didn't really do much in this turn, to be honest. I just moved around. So how to gain era stars? There are three ways uh, to gain your first era star. Either you increase your population, gather science from science curiosities, or hunt down wild animals. In order to gain units and increase your population, gather food through hunting and wild animals or foraging food curiosities. Okay, that's how you get stars, I guess. Okay, fine by me. Let's go over here. Let's try and uncover what this is, boys. So what is this right there? Unknown uh, resource. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that is. I guess we don't know what that is just yet. This one is ready to follow my elders. I can rename the army. Um, I'm gonna rename it, sure, for uh, the Gap, the Gap de Moir, uh party. Confirm. All right, there we go. There it's after. They're after my name now, so that's good. So all this position indefinitely until you give a new order. I'm not going to do that. Is there anything I can do with them, or do I actually need to keep feeding them or something? I guess, I guess I probably do, right? So let's move there. That's going to take us two turns or two move sets. So there, that was one move right there. Let's uh, let's bring in there. We're just discovering the world right now. Oh, they can't. They don't have any move set right now. Okay, they don't have anything left. All right. Right now, it doesn't seem like we're actually doing anything crazy. We're just moving around. Uh, yeah. So I don't know how to settle exactly. So I don't know how that works. Uh, do is there a way for me to figure it out? Like settings or game options, probably. It doesn't tell me how to do it. So here's how I'm going to do it, I guess. I guess I'm just going to end up ending the turn. And we'll figure this out uh, along the way. I imagine the way it works is you actually have to get a certain amount of stars, probably, in order to settle or something. Right now, I'm just going to try and discover as much as possible that I can. Every empire has traditions and customs 
that can spread from territory to territory. In humankind, these propagations is known as cultural influence. Okay. Um, there are many ways you can earn and spend influence in the game. In the uh, this era, earn influence by hunting or discovering science curiosities. Okay, I got you. All right, let's uh, let's go over here. We're gonna uh, discover this boy. So more knots and knowledge. There we go. So uh, just to get another tribe, I guess we are now at half of that. So we need just another double the amount of that, and we're gonna be able. To, we're gonna be good. So I don't want to go back here. Or it seems like the more south we go, obviously the better it's gonna be. But I kind of want to move there. I, yeah, I want to move there, boy. So. May have done something very clever. Okay, so curiosity. So curiosity collected, boys. That's a good place. So curiosity collected. We got two of those. Uh, acknowledged. There we go. So we got more of that. And I can't move any further once again. Now, go to the current selection army. We're good. Don't have anything. Auto explore. Army actions. All right. Seems like we're okay. Let's skip the turn, boys. We're going to go into turn four. Not a whole lot happening right now. Vision range moving up. Can I upgrade my units? I don't even know if I can actually upgrade them. That's probably how you upgrade them is... Well, that's the moveset uh, that you can do for them. I'm not sure how any of it works, boys. Guess we're going to try and uh, figure this all out, right? Uh, really. So there is a mountain right here, region. Can I move up the mountain? Or I can. Okay, I can go here. Sanctuary. So is this a place I can actually settle in? Because it's a sanctuary, right? It could be. Let me see real quick. Is that some place I can actually go in? A rich, diverse habitat with plenty to sack. Uh, this is a breeding ground for peaceful wildlife uh, who range the surrounding area. Okay. So if I decide to sack, right? So rent sack allows you to destroy the target and gain resources. Depend the, its re duration depends on the combat strength and the rent sacking army, the type of district and its fortification. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna rent sack it. Sure, why not? Let's do it, boys. All right, so they're doing it right now. They're doing the thing. So it says it's gonna it's gonna take one move or whatever. Let's skip another turn again. I've got a knowledge star. In a growth star, basically. So, uh, let's keep it moving. We got plenty of resources, discoveries that we uh, are uncovering across uh, around us right now. So, ransack su successful. We plundered this, which uh, gave us more food, which allows us to have two of population of the tribe, I guess. So, our tribe is going up, which is very good. So, I imagine now we we want to go here. To uncover this, whatever this is. So, ancient knowledge. Outpost. Your tribe has enough influence to found its first outpost. Okay, so that's how you do it. That's what they were saying. You need influence in order to found, uh, found your outpost and stuff like that. Okay. So, I can find my first outpost. So, that's how you do it. Claim territory. Well, I kind of don't really want to settle in the north, to be honest. It doesn't seem like suitable ground right here. I kind of want to go a little bit further south just to just to keep exploring a little bit further south for now. We're going to go back here though because I do want to see what that uh, resource is all about, right? I want to get as many resources as possible. Events will occur. Sure, why not? Uh, let's turn, uh, let's skip to the turn five, boys. Oh, there's an event right here. A world of flame. In the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts up into clear blue skies. Fire. Calling a fire, a few tribesmen, you run closer. The smell of cindered bra uh, bark and burning pine growing stronger with each footfall. You you spy, you spy dancing flames, and suddenly you find yourselves on the edge of a settlement of fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even with the smoke and flames, you can see these abode. Uh, these abodes are mar marvels of craftsmanship. You're about to direct your men to put out the fires with uh, loose soil when you see short, shadowed figures uh, running away. Youths, they could become part of your tribe if you chase them, uh, if you give chase now, but that would mean losing the secrets of construction. What is your choice? Okay, so it's either I gain new peoples, the refugees, I upgrade my people, I guess, my tribe, or 
I'm going to extinguish and learn minus 50, 25% of city defense researching cost. I'm going to do extinguish, boys. I'm going to do that one. It seems like uh, the most peripheral one. Just get those technologies done uh, good and early. So I think that's the best option. They did say if I press A or Y or whatever. I don't know. Uh, there's, there's keys and stuff. I'm not sure how that works. I guess not. All right, let's skip to turn five now for real. All right, so it moves up pretty quick. You just skip and right away you're in there. So uh, now we're ready to move. Yeah, it's got the four turns. Uh, tutorial videos, got it, understood. I'm gonna go here right away and I'm gonna collect uh, this resource. I need as much as possible. So uh, now that we've got that done, I wanna move all the way there. So I wanna keep moving. We're gonna go all the way there. Actually, yeah, let's uh, let's go there, boys. Let's get that resources as well. So manual battle. Uh, so we we are in we're in currently hunting right now. So battle at objective attack. Prepare your first battle. Victory will be yours. Eliminate all enemies. All right. So I can do manual um, at battle, or I can in instant resolution. I don't know what that means. Is it like uh, total war or something? All right, so manual battle, what do we do? I guess it is like, oh, that's kind of nice. It is kind of like um, a total war situation. I like that. I guess I'm going to deploy them. So this is a deployment, the first deployment and stuff. Yes, we are going to do, uh, we're going to do it like that. Deployment phase, we're going to do it like that. Uh, end the deployment. Uh, sure. So the deployment has ended and they're right here actually. So I should have put them right there. So. Uh, you are going to move towards there and start attacking them. There it goes. So you're going to start attacking them right here. Boom. And you can see the salt. Oh, that's kind of cool. They kind of added a little bit of like total war at the action to it. Uh, to it a little bit right there. So that's kind of cool. I like that. And you got three rounds in total to do move sets. So I, I, I like the way it's done. Now they're going to attack me. Okay, so they're counter-attacking right here. Lost a bit of health right there. But he died during the attack, so... Spoil your gain. Spoil they missed. Okay, so uh, we gained that. Okay, attacker. That's good. And now what do I do? Just that? Okay, I guess we uh, we won. And by winning, we, uh, we gained some more influence and stuff. Which is very good. Okay, I like that. I like that, boy. So we, we just gained a star from that, which is very good. Let's end the turn really quick. And there we go. So we're in turn 7 right here. It doesn't tell me what the years are exactly. But to to go into a new era, I imagine you just have to get one of these stars. Imagine, right? So let's just keep moving. There's another resource over there. But I'm not just going to keep moving around back and forth. So I'm just going to I'm gonna start moving right here. And there we go. We're going to move around, boys. And uh, now what do I want to do? Well, I want to keep obviously going south. It feels like it's getting warmer, boys. So I definitely want to do that. It might be a new continent over here. You can see the shores right here. So it might be a new continent. Uh, there's This is a new place. This would be a really good place to settle in. Just because there is a sea right there. A current uh, going on right here. So it might be a really good place to settle in. I'm going to... I'm going to go right here, boys. I'm actually going to settle right here. Uh, claim territory. There we go. Right. Right here. So found an outpost. Right here. Boom. Just like that. So I decided to found my first outpost, boys. There we go. Just like that. It's perfect. Uh, we are well protected. Well, I could have set it up right here. But I think near the shore, right? You already want to be near the sea just because you are well uh, protected so outpost creation that's perfect we got all of that now what do i do with the outpost exactly can i modify it i don't think so is there anything i can do with this outpost or is it like is it i uh, is it like uh, nothing at all nothing too crazy i guess uh, it's nothing too crazy i can't really do anything with it right so the first steps into new lands are always the hardest we salute our brave pioneers this claims the territory as uh, ours, but claims are fragile. Consider attaching the territory or evolving into a city. So I'm not sure how exactly it works uh, for settling down and stuff. 
But for it to be a city, I imagine you gotta... You gotta do some stuff over there or something. Alright, we're in the next turn. It seems like we might have an event going on. So, seed of an idea. So, yesterday the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain. The stock... Stocks, uh, stocks swaying, uh, swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground da down grain could feed the tribe twice over. But one of the tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, uh, she suggested planting half of them so the grasses may return next summer. It is a curious idea at odds with the nomadic life, but perhaps a harbinger of the future. What should you do? Well, obviously I'm going to do it. That's called agriculture, boys. We need to learn it. We need to settle down. On nomadic tribe, so who says the bounty would still be here next summer? The spirits never bl have blessed us today. No, I'm going to plant it. I'm going to plant it. Domestic research, I'm going to plant it. And we're starting agriculture, boys. There we go. So we're getting some agriculture done and everything, which is fantastic. Uh, skip her another turn. Why not? There we go. We're turn 10 now. It's going to take seven turns, if I'm uh, understanding properly, seven turns for the outpost to be created. So once it's created, I imagine the way it's going to work is we're going to start having population uh, grow up there or something. I imagine that's how it works. So right now, and when you created that outpost, it actually cleared the lands and made it a bit more green, which I like quite a lot. All right, let's go over here, boys. All right, we got some stuff uh, going on right here. We do have a resource here that we can gain. So I am going to go towards there, gain that resource. Yes, I think that's fresh water I just got. And from that, we gained a third tribe right here, which means we basically have three divisions, which is uh, very good. So we now have three divisions, pretty solid. Uh, I'm not sure how many, I think it's maximum four. It looks like it for one place. So uh, I, I might uh, end up just splitting them eventually as soon as i get the fourth one i'm gonna split it up a little bit but right now it seems like we're doing really good boy i'm gonna stay out of the east for now i'm gonna keep exploring south i guess yeah, i'm mean, kind of need tricky to the south right here so i'm gonna i'm gonna stay put i'm gonna go there but there was something we needed to discover on that place i'm just gonna keep moving for now boys so keep moving for now we got uh there we go we're gonna go here there we go. Knowledge. So do I need to... Okay, so if I go here, for example. I'm going to stay here. Uh, and uh, next turn, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to end up the turn right here. Now, if I go here. What happens if I go here? Okay, if I go there. So knowledge. So map focus. So what do I do here? What exactly does that mean? Does that mean it's a good place to for an outpost or something? I imagine it is. I imagine that's what it means. Or it just gives me... Okay, no. So every time I go to one of those, it gives me that. Okay. Got you. So I can just literally go back and forth with that. Well, right now, I think I can only go as far as this. So we're going to go back here again. We're going to keep moving, boys. Uh, skip the turn again. And uh, this is going to be our last turn for the video. What we're going to do, we do have some hunt that we can do. So I'm going to go towards this uh, this place right here. We could ransack this. But I'm not sure like if it's going to be any good. There's nothing to ransack to be honest here. So we're just going to go here. Right here. And it says there's, I saw some animal going there. So, oh, there's a really good fertile, fertile lands right here, boys. This might uh, really uh, be a good place to um, to settle eventually. This could be it, boys. All right. Well, we'll figure this out in the next video. We did pretty well for our first one, even though it's kind of hard to understand what's going on. Uh, we do have to kind of split my parties eventually. As soon as I get a fourth party right here, I'm going to split it up and make sure that um, everything is good, right? I'm going to split it up a little bit to explore more around me i still got another four turns going uh before my outpost right here is created so my first outpost and that's going to be very good once it's created boys so remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video we'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy